in a secluded cabin deep within the heart of the forest. Three friends, Alex, Sarah, and Ben, gathered for a weekend getaway. They were avid stoners, always seeking new strains to explore. Little did they know that this night would be different from any they had experienced before. As the moon rose high in the sky, casting an eerie glow through the trees, Sarah produced a mysterious bag of cannabis she had acquired from a sketchy vendor. Guys, I got us something special for tonight. The coughing coffin strain. It's supposed to be intense. Alex's eyes lit up with excitement while Ben, a bit more cautious, asked, Are you sure it's safe, Sarah? We've never tried this one before. Oh, come on, Ben. Where's your sense of adventure? It's just a bit of weed, Sarah replied, her mischievous grin pushing Ben to join in on the fun. Together, they rolled a joint, the scent of the coughing coffin lingering in the air like an ominous fog. As the first plumes of smoke filled their lungs, a tingling sensation spread through their bodies, and they erupted into a fit of laughter. Wow, this stuff is potent, Alex managed to say between chuckles. But as the laughter subsided, a sudden bout of coughing seized them. They hacked and wheezed, each cough more forceful than the last. Damn, this is harsh, Ben gasped, trying to catch his breath. The room seemed to twist and distort around them, and the walls seemed to close in. The air became heavy, suffocating, and a sense of unease settled upon them. I... I can't stop. Coughing, Sarah sputtered, her eyes wide with fear. The coughing grew more intense, echoing through the cabin like a macabre symphony. Each cough felt like a painful stab to their chests, their throats raw and throbbing. I think we should check, Liebel, Alex managed to say, his voice raspy and strained. As they desperately tried to recover, the cabin's atmosphere grew more unsettling. Shadows danced on the walls, contorting into grotesque shapes, and the eerie silence outside was broken only by their relentless coughing. Suddenly, a haunting whisper filled the room, cutting through the haze of smoke and suffocating tension. Cough, cough, let the coffin take you. The voice taunted, its chilling resonance sending shivers down their spines. Wide-eyed, they exchanged fearful glances, realizing that something sinister lurked within the coughing coffin strain. It was as if the very essence of death itself had taken residence in their lungs. As the night wore on, their coughing fits continued unabated. The cabin seemed to come alive with malevolent energy, the walls creaking and groaning as if responding to their torment. I, I can't breathe. Ben gasped, his face turning pale. In a panic, they stumbled towards the door, desperate to escape the claustrophobic confines of the cabin. But the air outside offered no respite. The forest had transformed into an ominous realm, the trees looming like ghostly sentinels. With each step, their coughs echoed through the woods, the sound carrying into the darkness like a distress signal. Their pleas for help seemed to fall on deaf ears, unheard by any potential saviors. As the night wore on, their bodies weakened, and the line between comedy and terror blurred into a nightmare they could not wake from. Each cough felt like a brush with death, their lungs begging for mercy. I can't take it. Any more, Sarah gasped, her voice a mere whisper. But then, just as it seemed, they would succumb to the relentless coughing. A surge of determination washed over them. They refused to be victims of this wicked strain. Gathering their strength, they managed to stumble back into the cabin, their coughs growing weaker. With trembling hands, they doused the remaining coughing coffin in water, extinguishing its malevolent power. Gradually, their coughing subsided, leaving behind a deafening silence. Exhausted and shaken, they sat huddled together, the experience etched into their souls. From that night onward, they vowed to never underestimate the potency of a strain again. The coughing coffin became a cautionary tale, a reminder that even in the realm of cannabis, danger can lurk in the most unexpected places. And as they left the cabin behind, their coughs fading into distant memory, 
they carried with them the haunting realization that laughter can sometimes mask the darkest horrors and that the line between comedy and terror is far thinner than they had ever imagined. 